hello everybody so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to get a virtual dollar card step by step tutorial i will be using an app called payday p-a-y-d-a-y -A -A the link is going to be in the description so just scroll down after the title of the video and you see payday once you download the app you open it and click on join payday to ask for your first and your last name you type in your first name and your last name in that order and click on continue then you ask for your email address password and referral code i'll put my referral code in the description then they'll send a pin to the email address find that pin put it here and click on continue now you have to choose a pay tag a pay tag is just like your username right the name maybe if somebody wants to send you money from payday to payday you can say this is my username so i'm just going to choose favor kemji as my pay tag and click on continue so we can go ahead to why we are here now this is where this is the home page right it's showing zero naira because i've not put in any money yet and the first thing i should do is verify my account so i click on verify account i choose my country of residence which is nigeria and then i allow payday to take pictures because i'm going to have to take a selfie and once i do that i'm redirected to where i have to verify my account so i will click on verify my account and they're going to ask me to put in some details okay i'm going through the process again it's going to take some time not too long in fact this entire video is not going to take more than or up to 10 minutes it's very easy so now they are saying you should be in a lit environment with proper light because you're going to take a picture and make sure you are ready to take the picture make sure there's light in your environment and make sure that everything is smooth so start verification you click on your country and then you select what you want to use to verify yourself there are four options here bvn driver's license national identity number and voter's card now if you choose your bvn you'll be asked to put in your bank verification number right and then you click on proceed or you can try any of the other options for example you can decide to try um driver's license voter's card and any other option everything you're choosing or you're putting in here is 100 percent safe right if you choose voter's card you just be asked to take a picture of your voter's card or if you already have your picture you you decide to upload it from your gallery if you choose driver's license it's the same thing but i honestly prefer that you choose bvn because it's simpler and easy to go right so just put in your bank verification number nobody can get access to your account with just your bank verification number so you're safe then you click on proceed and then you are good to go right you're going to be taken here so during the process of this video i funded my account with 2000 naira. what i did was that i requested for a naira account and then i created a naira account and i funded it now i need a dollar card and they're going to ask me they said i have to fund my account with at least five dollars and i realized that the two thousand i had was not enough so now i had to go back to my account now go back to your account and click on top up you see that plus button that says top up i have two accounts here i have naira account i have dollar account i'm going to click on top up and if you check below there you see create new accounts that is where i created the account from so when you click on create new account you choose the currency that you want whether dollar naira or pounds and they will give you an account and when you have when you've gotten an account you can go to that account i'm in the naira account now and i can click on this top up button that is there once i click on it they show me my account details this is the account number the bank and the account name now i can take i can copy this account number you can see the copy icon here once i click on the copy icon it's copied and i can go to my usual bank and send money here i just did that now and i transferred three thousand naira to make my total balance five thousand naira i hope you get it now so now this is just in my naira account i want to move it to my dollar account so what i'm going to do now is click on swap if you can see the swap button is just up there beside top up swap means i want to swap it from naira to dollar so i'm going to click on swap and they're going to show me how it's going to be possible now this is it they're asking me how much naira i want to pay i want to pay five thousand naira and i'll get 6.59 us dollars right so that's their conversion so if i agree with it all i have to do is click on continue and we will get started right so 
I click on continue and then they are going to swap the money in my Naira account and move it to a dollar account. This is important because you cannot fund a dollar card or you cannot create a dollar card with Naira. You have to move the Naira to dollars. So I just did that now and I'm going to click on confirm. They are charging 25 Naira which is about 0.5% which is actually one of the cheapest charges you ever see. And in less than 2 seconds it has been done. This amount six dollars has been added to my dollar account so all i have to do now is swap swap or switch to my dollar account and i can see my balance now my naira balance is now zero while my dollar balance is now six dollars i hope you can see that clearly so now this is not the end i want to create a virtual card so i'm going to click on cards below there and i'm going to click on dollar card right and then they're asking me they said i need to fund my account with my card with at least five dollars good thing i have six dollars so i'm just going to select the amount i have 6.60 and i'm going to click on create card right when i click on create card immediately they, they will tell me that six dollars has been funded to my card i know some platforms that will charge you for creating a card but this one is 100 percent free now look at my card details are here the name the card number the zip code the cvv everything is here and i can copy them with one touch now i'm going to use this card right now to go ahead and pay for canva so previously i um i tried to pay for canva with my naira card but it wasn't going through and they told me that my payment was declined now i'm going to open canva right now and pay again with this card and see if it goes through so you can see i have to retry because they said they were unable to process my last payment that's because like i said in the previous video naira cards have been banned from international transactions but as you can see it has been confirmed and they have sent me a mail confirming my payment so i sh i showed you these three messages to show you that previously they could not um debit my card for canva pro subscription so i've been using my naira card all this while for canva pro but as a result of the restriction canva was unable to debit my naira card and so they kept sending me mails that i should update update my payment method and bring a more valid one do you understand so i had to get this payday dollar card and use it and you can see that the most recent mail they sent to me is an invoice saying that my payment has been confirmed so you can see that this card works very well now guys this is how you can get a virtual dollar card in 10 minutes with your smartphone in any part of the world and use it to make payments so my own issue was canva yours could be google ads youtube ads aliexpress um canva whatever it is you wanted to pay for facebook ads that your naira card was no longer being accepted or it was being declined for international payments you can use this card just follow the steps in this video watch it again so you don't miss anything all you have to do is download the app use the link in the description i put the link to payday in the description the referral code is also in the description once you download the app request for a naira account once you request for a naira account fund your naira account and then swap the money to your dollar account and then move the money to your dollar card it looks complicated complicated but it's actually very simple as you can see in this video it didn't take me more than eight minutes to finish everything i'll see you guys next time give this video a thumbs up bye bye